Hello! Hi-ho, wee-way. What's up, everybody? Uh, here we go. Uh, oops. Yeah, now it watches the stream. Just get some chat GPT open. Uh, media share is open. And, oh boy. Gotta log in again. Hold on. Log in, log in, in. Uh, maybe I'll do some character AI step too. All right, here we go. Yeah, as well. Test, test, test. Oh, let me test this. This is Snake. It's a Okay. Ugh. Let me Save and start a new chat, enable character voice. All right. Now just got to think of ideas. Give me Ten ideas for sketch, comedy, video ideas. One, a dog trying to sneak on a bus. Two, okay. a waiter working his first shift. Three, an old person trying to use an iPad. Four. An amateur magician's magic tricks go very wrong. 5. A high schooler That's trying to use the here. internet at the library. 6. Uh -huh. A person in a meeting with a horrible hangover. Okay. 7. A grandma playing video games. 8. A kid making their parents late for a wedding. 9. A cat trying to catch a laser pointer. Uh, clickbaity funny, I guess. Uh. Write the script for a 60-second skit, comedy skit, of idea number seven. Okay. Any guidelines? Is the grandma a major character? Do I need to include other characters? Or do you want the grandma to be the main character? Is she oh, interacting with other people in real life or over the internet with others? Do you want her to be a nice grandma or a funny, rude grandmother? Or something else entirely? Yes, the grandma. Hey, what's up, Misha? Hello, this spot looks like ChatGPT. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. This is like a ChatGPT version of a character AI. Uh, yes, the grandma is the major main character uh please include others uh uh stereo please include other stereo typical internet users uh i i want a nice grandma Granny fuckers returning to this channel? Well, it could turn that one, potentially. Uh, please make the grandma character as sweet as can be. But make her very uh, 
good at video games. Uh, the skit takes place on with uh, her playing Call of Duty and talking on voice chat. Hopefully it takes all the suggestions here. Okay, here we go. Grandma's playing COD and starts talking about how she's told dominating her opponents. Okay, okay. Okay, here at I. Grandma is playing COD and uh -huh. starts talking about how she is totally dominating her opponents and has a really good K slash D ratio okay. and that they're N00 BS. Yep. Then you hear the other team complaining about her before she starts saying some other stuff like, get pawned, and come at me bro, I'll mess you up. <laughs> okay. Uh. A uh, 12 year old boy uh, calls her out. Uh, this is the conversation between uh, give me the conversation between the two. It's Bo, shut up, voice. loser. Just admit you are bad at the game. Granum, well, I don't care what some 12-year-old thinks about me. I think backslash your backslash the loser, honey. Bo, oh yeah, grandma? Granum, oh yeah. And what are you gonna do about it? Oh. Bo backslash sighs, rolls eyes, and leaves the voice chat backslash. Uh, the grandma recognizes the uh, screen name as a friend of her grandson's who goes by the name um, Scott, Scotty. Uh, grandma bakes him some cookies and pays him a, a surprise visit. At his house. This is good back and forth, I feel like. The grandma arrives at Scotty's house, holding a plate of cookies in her arms. Granum Scotty? Are you home? Scotty comes over to the door, with his mother behind him. This Scott Granny? Strange. What are you doing here? Granum, oh, your grandma just came to bring you some cookies. Not her grandma. Scotty's mother, that's very kind of you. Scotty, oh. let her in. What's up, Hank? How's it going, Hank? Unique chance. 66B event currently going on. Whoa. It's on Horde. What is that? Okay. Did Mr. Seeker set that up? Wow. Or, uh, got your local kobold? Yes, I do. Do I got to update anything? I spent $30 to have 2A, A100 on for the evening. In the online services tab, you could select it. Oh shit, let me update first. Make sure I have the latest. Uh, I'm starting it up right now. Uh, thank you for notifying me, Hank. Shouldn't be needed, but works on official and United. Okay, yeah. What an interesting turn of events. Yeah, I know. It's a generic model. Uh, hey, I'm fine. Hey, what's up, Hubble? Uh, 
Oh boy, what is this, Misha? Oh, hold on. Wait one second. I can't hear anything. One second here. Uh, one second here. Ah, it's that plan. And I have a pretty great awesome. Oh, there we go. I want to create awesome. Kratos <gasps> depends on the weapon and the man. Of him loafing. <laughs> I've launched my. I can't have OCD. You mean OBCD? You look like you're enjoying it, though. <laughs> Scoot, I'm done. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Yo, look at this shit, man. What the fuck? Nanahu. Danger. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. How long is this? This is oh, it's like. All right, I think we we got it. Thank you, Bisha, for playing. All right, all right. Here we go. Uh, AI. Oh, I should probably have this off screen. Uh, I don't know. Uh, online services. Horde. Sixty-six B. Uh, thank you, Hank, for... Uh, should I do chat mode? I don't even know. I can't imagine the 66B model having anywhere near the GPT-3 in quality, but uh, it's cool you can run it privately. That's one way to avoid filters. Exactly, yeah. That's one of the biggest things is this, like, not having the filters, but... Also, being able to train it however you want. So, like, all the different models, so not being beholden to... What is chat mode? Uh, I don't exactly know what it does, but I think it's optimized for like having a conversation with the AI. Uh, let's just try inputting something. Let's see. Chat mode does work if you prompt it in the format and write for both characters in your prompt. Okay. Uh, let's just try classic AIPD story mode here. Uh, you are, you are the lawnmower man. Just cause I've recently talked to someone about this. So I watched the lawnmower man and then I learned that the lawnmower short story it was based off of is like so drastically different. It's just like, you are the lawnmower man. Uh, a man pretending to be a lawnmower. You get the more descriptive the prompt, the better because it needs to learn from your style. What's the lawnmower man? A film, yeah. It's like, uh, it's a very strange film, yeah. It's like VR, so it's like Tron mixed with like flowers for Algernon. It's uh, a very strange concept for uh, a film, and the graphics do not hold up whatsoever. Uh, but 
it was based off a short story where <laughs> this is uh a lot a man pretends to be a lawnmower and then at the end i forget what happens he dies or something i don't know it's very strange uh you are the lawnmower man a man pretended to be a lawnmower you uh is it an old movie? 90s? Pierce Brosnan's in it. Uh, you feel like you are a lawnmower born in a human body. And while role playing as a lawnmower, you have never felt better. You are currently attempt attending a city hall meeting where a group of people are trying to make it illegal For you to eat grass, you prepare your impassioned speech while listening to the opposition leader. Linda Bartoli. Uh oh, did it not work? Hold on. Cluster? Let me check here. Let me check the logs. Can you show how you connect it to the cluster? Yeah, I went here. You need an API I key and force the 66B. Oh, wait, here we go. I do have an API key. You are the lawnmower man, oh, okay. a man pretending to be a lawnmower. You feel like you are a lawnmower born in a human body and while role playing as a lawnmower, you have never felt better. You are currently attending a city hall meeting where a Did group of people are trying to make it illegal for you to eat yes. grass. Yeah. You prepare your impassioned speech while listening to the opposition leader, Linda Bartoli. I I'm did. not sure how I feel about this one. And it's like a hard. cross between a surrealist story and a bad acid trip. It's funny because it's true. I, don't want to show my I was watching that movie on Netflix last night and, and thought of this. I believe you. Uh, you listen. You Linda. Ramble on about uh ethics and keeping the town uh keeping the town clean i'm farming a ton of kudos with these oh yeah responses often get me 252 kudos in one go wow I don't know how is kudos the way horde uh rewards hosting like oh shit and then you're like fuck this shit i'm going to go mow some grass <laughs> yeah! that's actually exactly what happened during the scene where she is giving her speech the part with the lawnmower was just an example of how surreal it would be if it were real life I can see this happening. Kudos can be spent on horde priority. Oh, okay. The city council asks you why do you want to act like a lawnmower? Did 
this is your Oscar winning moment. You tell them Here we go, Oscar winning moment for the lawnmower man. I am a lawnmower because I feel like a lawnmower. I don't know any other way to explain it. Then they look at each other and say, Okay, we'll let you keep doing that. Yeah! When I get my Oscar the first will remember this thread. That said, I think it's more likely that I just forget about this thread. Oh no. Linda is furious and actively tries to make your life as a lawnmower a living hell. Yeah, it looks like it thinks it's some kind of forum conversation. I'm fine with that, though. Linda is furious and actively tries to make your life a lawn life as a lawnmower a living hell. She regularly covers your lawn in rocks and broken glass. Uh, let's her dog she regularly covers your lawn in rocks and broken glass. You realize you have to convince her if you are going to truly to be left alone you ask linda out to dinner to talk things over and to your surprise she agrees And probably feed some character AI conversations to it to make it act feel like an actual chat bot. You are the you beat the hedge trimmer man. Hey, what's up, sure why not? Yeah, maybe that's our. We convinced our we're so impassioned about being the lawnmower man that we convince other people in the the neighborhood to have uh, landscaping fantasies. She's not furious, she's just trying to keep the town clean. Just like the guy who wants to ban lawnmowers from eating grass. Linda is all about keeping the town clean. But she has no problem with grass eating lawnmowers. Okay. Yeah. You tell Linda. Hey. It's not sexual. It's not sexual, Linda. If I say it out loud, does that make it any more true? Does that ease your mind at all? I just like being a lawnmower. <coughs> this is not some weird sexual fetish. It is just how I feel. It's like, you know, uh, do train enthusiasts fuck the trains? Most of them now. I mean, some of them probably do. She replies, I know. I've seen it before, but it's still wrong. Oh, so you decide to try and sway her opinion us. by telling her, Look, Linda, I'm a lawnmower because I feel like a lawnmower. I don't know any other way to explain it. She's not wrong. Linda. Uh. Gets. Too drunk and opens up revealing 
Linda gets too drunk and reveals that she has had fantasies. Fantasies about being a hedge trimmer. But she feels that is an affront to God himself. So Linda is hunting down because she feels the same way. She feels like a hedge trimmer, but she just doesn't want to go to hell for it. And since she doesn't want to go to hell, she must stop you from eating grass. That's when you offer to let her sit on your lap. Uh -oh. She accepts. That night you take her home and spend the night together. Afterwards she tells you, that was great. But I'm still against lawnmowers eating grass. Yeah. You, yeah, oh boy. This is like, yeah. You surprise Linda the next morning. You go to the home and garden center and buy a bunch of hedges for Linda. She burst into tears when she sees what you've done. Uh, Misha, let's not go there. Then she goes berserk, ripping the hedges out of the lawn as speaking in tongues as if possessed by the devil Linda's going ape shit here speaking in tongues yeah. Let's get this, wait. Uh, a man pretending to be a lawnmower. Burr, 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 burr. Oh. <laughs> yeah, do you do your fish song for me? Everyone's coming out with a pound. Go and do your fish song for me. He's doing class, isn't he? He's funny, isn't he? Come on, ladies, come on, ladies, one pound fish. Come on, ladies, come on, ladies, one pound fish. One pound fish. Have a, have a look. One pound fish. Have a, have a look. One pound fish. Very, very good. One pound fish. Very, very cheap. One pound fish. Six pound, five pound, one pound each. Six pound, five pound, one pound each. Fish to the one pound fish to the one pound fish. The one pound fish to the one pound. Six pound, five pound, one pound each. Fish to the one pound fish to the one pound. Come on, ladies, come on, ladies, to the fish, one pound Even made a professional one music video. One pound each, one pound each. Very good and very cheap, very good and very cheap. One pound fish, one pound fish. Have a, have a look, one pound fish. Have a, have a look, one pound okay. fish. Very, very good, 
one pound fish, very, very cheap, one pound fish, six pound, five pound, one pound each, six pound, five pound, one pound each, very, very very, 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 very cheap, pound one pound fish today, one pound fish, come on ladies, come on, one pound fish, come on ladies, come on, one pound fish, 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 very, very cheap, very, very cheap, one pound fish, one pound fish, very, very cheap, very, very cheap, cheap, cheap. I want to watch this. I want to watch. They just met. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that one. Rise, roar, revolt. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Uh, is this the same thing? You did your fish song for me. You did your fish song. Ah, so people know he does the fish song. Come on, ladies, come on, ladies. Uh, he's now he's like trying to do like a uh, style. Style. Before it was like fun. This, is, this doesn't feel good. I don't know. I, some guy had his nice little like local celebrity moment, and then some. Uh, it feels like some CD music producer tried to capitalize off that. He sold so many one pound fish you can afford the production value. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess. This has 36 million views. Oh my god. I mean, I like the song. I, I don't like the Tadero. I like the old verse there when he was just at the market saying it. This feels like they're trying to capitalize on success of his wholesome fish song. I guess it's still enjoyable, but the women were paid in one pound fish. Come on, ladies, come on, ladies. One Pound Fish Man TV is the YouTube channel. Uh. I don't know. It definitely tarnished the enjoyment I got out of the first video, I feel like. That's just me, maybe. <laughs> A, give, a monkey versus a cat! Oh my god, Ellen's gonna love this. The original was better, I agree, Hubble. Oh, he's playing with them. He's like the same size as a cat, though, so I would be worried. Oh! Uh, oh! Oh, the cat is annoyed. Look at that tail. <laughs> the the monkey kicked him out. He keeps pouncing on him. That's great. <laughs> Uh, all right it's been a little bit since the law bar sorry but
The next morning, you go to the home and garden center and buy a bunch of hedges for Linda. She bursts into tears when she sees what you've done. Then she goes berserk ripping the hedges out of the lawn and speaking in tanjas as if possessed oh, by the devil. I can't spell she's not possessed, uh. she's just really passionate about keeping the town clean. And also really passionate about doing it in the butt. You what? decide to give her a break and suggest I've that she come this. over to your place later that night. You get ready and wait eagerly for her arrival. Then suddenly she appears at your door. Lawnmower? I hardly knew her. Well... <laughs> really passionate about... Uh, my passions are, you know, knitting, cooking, doing it in the butt. How's uh, 66 speed so far? It's fun, yeah. I, I don't know, yeah, you could definitely... Seek your hopes to make an Erebus model based on it some some point. Yeah, he was mentioned in that yesterday, I think. Oh. Like Tyson gives Evander. Oh no. I'm sorry, Evander. Hey, it's what's your up, Biz? Linda has some weird fantasies, yes. Oh no, no, I don't think you can show that. He gave him his ear back? My ear. I kept that in formaldehyde. Ah, thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Linda is wearing a uh, hedge trimmer costume. Wholesome moment. Uh, I could, uh, well, I guess it's wholesome if you give us back. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what happened to his ear? Because he ripped it off. Did he swallow it? I mean, I don't know how, how biting someone's ear off, but uh, it seems like, especially at a boxing event, they should have had, like, the medical staff on standby to be able to, like, Rush him to the hospital and reattach it. I don't think he's just got a gaping. Then maybe that's what they did. I'm not 100 percent sure. Doctor Phil, my sister wants to be a hedge trimmer. Yeah. Oh boy, here I. I always... Linda is wearing a hedge trimmer costume. She says, "I've always wanted to be a hedge trimmer. Let's fuck." You are turned on. You agree to put on the hedge trimmer costume and do it with her. Afterwards she says, that was great. But I'm still against grass eating lawnmowers. She's not an asshole. <laughs> oh wow, Linda is really, she's really twisted in the mind that she'll do all this. She'll engage in depravity herself, but she is still against it. Wow. <laughs> they gave the ear CPR and it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Sure, I, I, I really needed some closure on that. Yeah. You give up and realize the only way Linda might accept grass-eating lawnmowers into her life is if you create a religion and brainwash her into joining. You name your new grass eating religion, your grass eating lawnmower role playing religion. Oh, here we go. Thanks, Robbie. How are things Thank going? Uh, Evander, I'm sorry. I'm like just focused on the ear. I the know I shouldn't Jason start learns why other AIs way, have filters. But I'm looking, but your ear looks yeah. fine. Your ear? We're talking about when Tyson bit it, right? It's oh, yeah. this ear, right? Yeah. Yes, Let me sir. see it. Is yeah. it, it? Oh, there's a little piece. She rips it off. There. Does it hurt? Nope. 
Did it grow back a little bit? No. Oh. Uh, it, it's, it's the same. What it's, was he thinking? What was that all about? Why did he do that? You know, oh, okay. anger. You know, disappointment. What did you want to do when he did that to you? Bite it back, but I chose not to. You did, right? Bite it and back. This is all part of the film, right, Bert? Yeah, I mean, the the themes are, you know, really getting behind the hood of, of the car with these guys and getting the unprecedented access with some of the most iconic figures of our time. And... What a useless law. It's an exploitative uh, local news segment. Leave the man alone. But I, it also answered my question, I guess. Oh, he just has an ear. That's fine. You name your new grass-eating lawnmower role-playing religion. Lawnmower Monism. She joins the church, but she quickly becomes disillusioned with the whole thing when she realizes that Lawnmower Monism is nothing more than an excuse for people to eat grass and pretend to be lawnmowers. Yes! Linda, she leaves the church and it. starts her own church. Linda's Church of Keeping the Town Clean. Her followers are called Lindists. <laughs> Linda's Church of Keeping the Town Clean. I did not expect that Uno card reversal. <laughs> oh, oh my god this is so outsmarted yeah she she used our own tactics against us is linda still down i think so i think she's she's just going to judge us for it still she just wants the moral upper hand even though she's clearly the same god I guess some people you just cannot change no matter what. Do we have to convert to get another turn? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I, Yeah, wait. Uh, yeah, let, let's do that. We're going to convert to Linda's church of the keeping the town clean. I mean, if I just want Linda's respect for some reason just because I can't get it. Oh, yes. Hey, lawnmower man. Thank you, Biz. Oh, yeah, when it sucks his body into the internet. Yeah. Or. Here he is. Uh, gr some great special effects, though. I mean, that was not, but his body getting sucked through. I don't know. It had moments, the lawnmower man did, for sure. Scientology is at risk with those two religions, I, I guess. Uh, okay. You, uh, you decide if you can't beat, beat him, join him. Uh, well, I'll think that. You decide to convert to Linda's church of keeping the town clean. Looks like an MK4 cutscene. Hey, thanks for the follow! Hi, MC Pinks. We're just doing a little storytelling and a little uh, media share. Is this just a trailer to cats? Hey, what's up, Chunktober? Oh, it's so creepy. Is this the fixed version? Because I know they went back and made it less creepy. They spent a lot of money to do that. I don't know. I think you're you're working with Cursed. Oh, John. It's such a... The best CGI. I gotta skip that. I can't stare at that for too long. I've been loving AI stuff lately. Well, here we do a ton of AI stuff here. So thanks for the follow. Yeah, check out our YouTube too.
I've got a, uh, I've done stand up with AI generated jokes. I got an AI generated cartoon thing. Uh, and plethora. I've been doing AI storytelling since AI Dungeon 2 was on Google Colab. So since like 2019, essentially. Like, I have, a, I have a tons of stories. So lots of comedic storytelling. Oh, what's this? All right. And then we'll get back to the lawnmower man here. Here's a story from North America. Hey, I recognize it. This guy's animation. This might be the one I'm thinking of, too. Yes. Daddy, 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 daddy hurry. hurry. I saw something. Yes, this scary. is exactly what I'm thinking of. Oh, this. All this screaming for it's been you're gonna a lot, too. wake the neighbors next door. Oh. Daddy, I think there's a spider on my floor. Is it? And will you squish it? You call me in here in the middle of the night to come into your room and destroy. I love Is the animation, yes, yeah, The voices too. I, I don't know. It's, just... it's not disgusting. It's just reality. Take a deep breath and appreciate life. Look oh, how interesting. His legs are crawling huh. across your bedroom floor. Do you know the proper name? Arachnid. That's right. It sounds like man dog We're living as a kid. in a world oh. that's full of creatures, big and small, hairy and slimy. You're not the center of the world. How would wow. you feel Look if a giant hand Whoa. came out of the sky and decided to crush you? is flawed, you've come undone, swallow your pride, what if the spider said the same thing, daddy, daddy, kill that kid, whoa, if the kid dies, it's just thanks for taking out the weed, I mean, I guess, That's the point, dad, what if he did that? I have to strike first. Oh. What if he did? What if he did it? What if the world was made of pudding? What? All I'm saying is consider something besides your. I love this kind of animation too. There's just so much going. I've heard it fast before, yeah. Now you're learning, understanding, finally you're becoming human. Let's return him to his natural habitat, put him in a cup and take him outside. Garrett Davis. I wonder what that guy's up to nowadays. Because I think that's pretty old, right? Relative. 2007. Oh, there you go. 
answers my own question. All right, here we go. You decide to convert to Linda's Church of Keeping the awful. Town Clean. You become a Lindist. Linda's Church of Keeping the Town Clean is very successful. But after a while, you start feeling like something is missing from your life. You start thinking to yourself, if only I could eat grass without getting in trouble. Then one day you see a lawnmower eating grass. Ah. Then it hits you. If everyone thinks you are a lawnmower, then no one will shame you. You undergo expensive and extremely dangerous uh, reconstructive surgery. Uh, to take on the appearance of a Toro riding mower. Here we go. Flawless logic. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is mad because I'm a human pretending to be a lawnmower. But if I looked like a lawnmower, people would just treat me like a lawnmower, right? I think this is the best outcome for lawnmower, man. this recognize this yeah, yeah that's don't stop believing by journey and the uh, i've movie. seen this before yeah, it's like the same four chords Check it yeah out. my life is brilliant yeah uh -huh. my love is pure i saw an angel of this is like a show. remake of a uh People kill and people die and children hurt and you hear them crying. Because I remember this being like a poor old Won't you turn the other cheek webcam YouTube video. Forever young, I wanna be forever young. I won't hesitate no more, no more. Oh well, this is very long. But yeah, I, I do like that video. Please check out the rest of that. You are now known as Toro Riding Mower. Yes. You go to the home and garden center and Literally buy a bunch changed. of Toro Riding Mowers. Toro Riding Mowers are very popular. But then Toro Riding Mower starts to get jealous of Toro Riding Mowers. Toro Riding Mower starts to get jealous of Toro Riding Mowers. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get rid of that last part. I, I like a jealousy where everyone's choosing... Is this referring to you or the company? I have no idea. It's very confusing when you legally change your name to the thing that you are having an issue with. Like if my name was uh, Olive Garden Breadsticks and I was having an issue with Olive Garden Breadsticks. No, not me. The actual Olive Garden Breadsticks. My name is Olive Garden Breadsticks because it's ironic because I want to... Uh, I want Olive Garden Breadsticks, but I'm not Olive Garden Breadsticks. We automatically own the company. Yeah. Is your name on it? Well, actually, I don't think that's how it works. I don't think a judge would legally allow your name. Like, I don't think you could be like Ronald McDonald. Well, maybe you could. You see Toro, Toro Riding Motors for using your appearance and their products without paying you for appearance rights. Oh, uh, Hank, I think that's it. That's the law, Jason. Yeah, I'm not a lawyer, I guess. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Touche, Misha. Maybe, uh, maybe you're right. I'm going to get rid of that last part, though. My name is Endless. Endless Breadsticks. I think you have something for me. Yeah, that's right.
<clears throat> Usu Toro. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. Usu Toro riding mowers. That's kind of a tongue twister. For using your appearance in their products without paying you for the appearance rights. Yeah, I wonder, could I name myself Microsoft Windows? I don't think so. I think any judge would shut that down. I think there's definitely a limit you don't want to push it to. But I imagine if I tried hard enough and like bothered enough judges and courts with my my weird request for to name myself Microsoft Windows, they would allow me to. But I don't think that entitles you to anything. Like Oh my god. You sue Toro riding mowers for using your appearance oh. in their products without paying you for appearance rights. Yeah. The trial lasts for years. Finally, Toro riding mowers wins the case and you are forced to pay them $10 million dollars in Damn damages. It. You're not happy with the outcome. You decide to go back to eating grass, but this time you are going to disguise yourself. You buy a bunch of fake mowers and attach them to your body. Uh, okay, let's see. A uh, push mower. Um, okay, uh, you know, uh, uh, let's see. That mower, it's got like four speed settings. What is that cluster of eight riding mowers that just seem to be glued together? We're like a transformer. Yeah, why did we think this would be better? I guess when you're addicted to plastic surgery, you don't make the wisest to choice. This is this is what we thought we wanted, but uh, <laughs> you know, you can, it's easy to warp your self-image uh, if you're always trying to appease others. I mean, we would have been just had we were technically happy just role-playing, wearing our lawnmower costume, but uh, you know. We wanted other people to like us. And that's that's really where you get in the dangerous spiral. Because it's like, why do you care so much that other people? Linda is now dating a head stripper. Uh, I mean, probably. She's just not happy about it. And I guess, why, are, why were we so obsessed to make Linda happy? Look at where we're at now. We're, seven, <laughs> we're 17 Doro riding mowers glued together. <laughs> Oh, what is this? What the hell is this? Yes, こうなったら世界中皇帝の塊にしまおうかそして世界中を錆びくさらせてああ、I Tetsu the Iron Man. Is that part of a movie or something? That looks amazing. <clears throat> Live action Akira. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was... Robert Downey Jr.'s first outing as Iron Man. Okay. Oh, interesting. I didn't, re I didn't recognize him. You realize you've gone so far out of your way to appease Linda that you forgot how to be happy on your own terms you pay linda a visit and tell her that you don't care what she thinks of you anymore I mean, she was trying to go to City Hall to re ban our behavior from happening. So, I mean, I guess we did have to, we did have to confront Linda in some way. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to act like a lawnmower at night? I don't know. Like, I'm always supposed to be worried that Linda's going to throw me in jail.
Can you fit through normal doors anymore? No, this is a Kool-Aid man. We're just like, boom, right into our living room. And all the mowers have to be running to get for us to be able to move. So we're also like, <laughs> CO2 poisoning is eminent for Linda if we stay in this, this house for too long. Oh, whoa. Shit. You leave the town forever, never to return. Your story ends here. I'm sorry. I thought it was funny. I liked it too. It's like if someone tried to write a serious story about me. I'd probably laugh at myself too. Have you ever read The Life of Pablo by Kanye West? What a weird non sequitur way to end the story. <laughs> Uh, that one's getting saved. Uh, let's say Lawnmower Man. That's great. A good end for, uh, the Lawnmower Man. Uh, I guess that's a kind of a good place to end. Uh, I, thanks for watching, everybody. T I'll be back tomorrow. Shall we try to see what happens if you're using ex existing character AI in Cobalt Start? I'm curious if it picks up the style. What do you mean by that? What do you mean if we use an existing character AI story in Cobalt's chat format? Like just, oh, and also a man pretending to be a lawnmower. That's pretty good. I'm going to save that too. There he is. Mowing the lawn. Scott, thanks, Grandma. These are delicious. Granum, ah, it was nothing, sweetie. I forgot about our I'll come character. by again sometime. Scott, okay, Granny. I'll see you then. Granum, goodbye, sweetie. Love you. Uh, Scotty okay. and his mother close the door. E and D. There we go. Double, double end. We wrapped up the grandma story, too. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be back. Tomorrow, I plan to stream for a while, so I'll probably stream, like, right after work and then go for a while. Uh... But thanks for watching, everyone. Back to streaming as much as possible. Uh, it's been a long day today, though, so I'm going to uh, hang out with Alan. So. Bye, ho wee way, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Hank, for running the 66 million model. That's great. It was, I had a lot of fun. It was fun to talk about the lawnmower man and the short story it was based off of. Uh, yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye, ho wee way, everybody.